so I have made some of these flowers. There are four flowers that I made, uh, and we'll be making spray with these flowers. And for that, put it over here. Okay, for, for that I I had these two petals using this six loop petal punch. And if you have um, five loop with the five loop, that will work really good. But since I don't have the one with the five like five loops, so I'll be using this with the six. So I made these two pieces with the plain cardstock and for the green base I used this um, punch and for our leaves I used this punch. So you just have to uh, cut this petal and cut them into five pieces okay? and it will give you this leaf like shape. Okay? And then I'll be using this eight stamens in the eight count and two floral, floral vials and also I'll be using floral tape okay this is my floral tape okay so let's start with it so first thing we are going to do is since I am using this uh, six with the petals with the six lobe and they are kind of attached to each other I have to give a cut in between each lobe uh, and as I said if you have one with the five lobes then you don't have to worry about this step but for this, I had to give cut in between. Before that, I'll make center. Let me put this. Let me arrange this little bit so that it will be easier for you. Okay. okay and one more thing I forgot to mention you. So I'll be using this picked raspberry distress ink for my flowers. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to put uh, center. If you have small hole punch, you can do with it. Uh, right now I'm doing with this my piercing tool okay. and then I'm going to cut slits between each loop just a little bit so that each loop will get separated I am holding both petals together okay and then I'm going to put ink on the edges okay. and also in the center and I tend to do it on both sides there are some crafters who prefer to do it just only on one side but I like to do it on both sides And then I am going to damp these petals with a little bit of water. And just and then I am going to give, uh, give shapes to my petals. So you are going to. this too just make sure that I'm making sure that each petal is kind of overlapping overlapping each other that we damp a little bit more Again, just sorry. I'm just making sure that each petal is overlapping on each other. Now, meantime, this petal are drying. We'll go ahead and make this bunch. Like we'll tie the stamens together. I'll 
just make a fold on my flower tip. This one. Okay, so I'm going to twist this wire around this petal. Okay, it will look like this. Okay, so I'm going to put it over here. I'll put a little bit of glue. Just twist it halfway around and then okay. so you have these stamens ready. Now I am going to insert these petals one by one. This is very simple uh, flower I am making. So This is a very quick uh, flower if you want to start a project and if you are in need of you know small flowers quickly you need to make then these are really beautiful ones and then you insert the second petal and just make sure that the lobe of next petal is aligning between this lobe of like two lobes of previous petal okay Don't worry, once it gets dry, we can always open them. Okay, just leave it like this. Let me put this, sorry. Okay, okay now uh, we will start with the greenery part. Again, uh, I'm going to pierce one hole in the center, and if you have a uh, small hole punch, you can use that as well. And then I am going to use this tool to pull this, make it in a ball shape. Okay. You don't have to damp this green uh, with the water. Okay. And then I am going to insert this. I'm going to put put the glue on all five lobes, and also I'll put it over here. And then. So this is our flower ready. Now we will start with our leaf and then we will all, we'll put all of them together in form of a spray. So you will be having these two lobes and I am going to use this floral wire. Put glue on one of the lobe and stick this wire over here and then put another lobe on top of it. It will look like this and then with this pointed tip you can put the veins you just make veins on both sides of your let me make it closer okay and then on the sides and this is with this too okay so with this tool you are going to put in between these two lines Sorry, it will look like this okay. 
and then we are going to wrap floral tape around it. So the way I do it over here is Okay, now this is your leaf ready. Now We have these flowers, so I made, including one which I have right now, uh, I have these 7, 2, 3, 4, 5 flowers and I think I have 4 leaves. Okay, now I'm going to put them in the form of spray. And this is the last one that I, I, I think I made. So you can open it little bit if you want. This has been open the wider, so I'll put it a little bit down. You can arrange these leaves later like however you want. Then one more leaf here. at the end and then if you want you can do one thing mm, let me see where is my okay I'll use this if you want you can just twist this around this if you have like you know some um, crochet needle or something like that you can just like twist it like this and this is how your small flower blossom spray is ready I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and making flower with me uh, so I have some more flowers to share with you and I will be making tutorials soon on those flowers. So stay tuned on my YouTube channel for my upcoming tutorials. Okay. Till then. See you next time. Bye.